I have a riddle for you. What do a fish, a human, and a gallon of paint have in common? Stumped? All three contain toxic chemicals known as polychlorinated biphenyls, also called PCBs. But what are PCBs? They are molecules composed of two carbon rings and chlorine atoms. They are widely used in commercial industrial settings because their chemical properties make them great utility players. They don't dissolve in water, they are fire resistant, they don't conduct electricity, and they don't degrade. Some examples of their uses include more stable power transformers, brighter paints, and more water resistant caulks. Yet the qualities that make them useful make them dangerous. They readily bind to sediment and animal tissue, and they stay in the environment and us for decades. PCBs are likely cancer causing. In addition, they may also affect the digestive, reproductive, and nervous systems. By the time the Environmental Protection Agency severely restricted the production of PCBs in 1977, over 1.5 billion pounds were produced. That's enough to fill 45 floors of the Empire State Building. Nowadays, they can be found in certain dyes and railroad transformers, among other products. But how do PCBs get from their initial use to the environment and ultimately to us through spills, leaks, and improper disposal or storage? From there, we are exposed to them by eating or drinking tainted food and water, skin contact, and even breathing. Generally, these do not occur at dangerous levels, but eating fish can be risky. Fish take in PCBs by eating sediment and other animals. Those fish pass on their PCBs when they are eaten by another fish. And when that fish is eaten, the larger fish ingests the PCBs that were in all the previous fish. Therefore, the amount is magnified. Larger animals, like a catfish, eagle, or human, have much higher concentrations than organisms lower on the food chain. But what can you do to avoid these toxic chemicals? Properly dispose of oils and old building materials. Avoid purchasing products with brightly colored packages. When fishing, look for fish consumption advisory signs. And if you eat what you catch, avoid larger fish. They typically have more PCBs. Before cooking your fish, remove the skin, organs, and fat. And when you cook, avoid cooking the fish in fats or oils and let the fats drain. For more information on PCBs, visit the websites of the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality and the Virginia Department of Health.